And welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is Sophie and I would love it if you click that big red subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell as well so that you never miss a video now this video is going to be an Oxford vlog I am spending today in Oxford um, exploring and I'm spending the night here to celebrate my birthday but um, before I crack on with showing you Oxford, I just wanted to very quickly talk to you all about Anna Louisa because I'm working with them on their Valentine's Day campaign and maybe you need to know what to get someone as a Valentine's gift or a Galentine's gift or to treat yourself to something nice. Everyone needs to treat themselves once in a while. Um, so yeah, if you don't know who Anna Louisa are, they are a sustainable jewelry brand and their pieces are of a high quality and also at affordable prices with their lowest um, item starting at um, like 39 US dollars. And I thought I'd share with you my newest additions to my collection, um, starting with this necklace which I absolutely love. So as the water necklace, they have all these different elements now, which are new and I, I love them. Um, but I got, I went for this one because I'm in Aquarius, so it made sense. And I got this ring, which I absolutely love. Um, and I don't have a ring for my middle finger, so <laughs> it's nice to have that now. And also this flower bracelet. I actually own a flower necklace already. So, um, so that's nice to add as well and then these earrings which I'm obsessed with because look it looks like I have two piercings even though I don't kind of um, and I love the little green gem and I don't know I just think they're super super cute and currently Anna Luisa have a Valentine's Day sale on where you can get 50% off up until Valentine's Day so if you like any of these pieces or when you're looking for something nice for you or a friend or a loved one or a partner, um, go check them out before Valentine's Day. <laughs> and yeah, probably gonna head out and explore Oxford now. So I will show you what we get up to in Oxford. We've definitely got some exciting things planned. We've got a nice dinner planned for this evening. So yeah, should be, should be good. So for our first activity in Oxford, we decided to go to one of the colleges and the one which we chose to visit was New College, which you may recognise this cluster that it features from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. It was £8 per person to enter and there were certain rooms where you weren't allowed to take any photos or film. I don't believe I did film in any of those, but if I did, Oxford Uni, you did not see this video. Um, and then we headed to the Natural History Museum, which is also owned by the uni. It's such a beautiful building. Like, I know I was meant to be there to see the dinosaurs, but I might just sitting up the top in the little cafe and looking at the building and taking pictures. Like, it's incredible. But I also liked um, the dinosaurs. And then we headed out to Mowgli for dinner. Hello again everyone, so we are currently walking through Oxford High Street, um, we've just been to dinner for that restaurant, to that restaurant I told you about, um, I wanted to actually like film a little clip for the vlog, talking, like chatting in the restaurant to tell you about like what we'd ordered and stuff, but they were playing music, which was good because the vibes were good, but I don't want to get like receive a copyright complaint, so instead I just have some clips which, you know, <laughs> I can use for a little montage with voiceover, but I thought I'd just, you know, chat about it as well because um, this restaurant, when I was looking for restaurants to go to in Oxford, the problem is I use TikTok for recommendations a lot and TikTok was getting confused with Oxford and Oxford Street and that was the only place coming up that was actually like in Oxford and it was Indian food and I love Indian food so it just kind of made sense. Um, but I got, um, the I can't remember the name of it. I think it was called the the school tin because um, they have these tins where you get four dishes for like a certain price. And they had a meat one and they had a veggie one. And I feel like Indian food is so easy to eat vegetarian. 
I need to cut down on my meat intake. I used to be vegetarian, but not for very long. And um, I was always like, oh yeah, I'll cut down on it. But love you, bro. Currently, um, I just end up eating it all the time because that's what. I live at home and that's what everyone eats at home. Um, like at home with my parents. Um, so yeah, I got that but um, I thought oh, it would be a good way to try something different as well instead of ordering from the menu because there's so much stuff on the menu I was like, I do not know what to get. How are the, I thought like what came was just very basic but it did come with a doll and I love doll and it was the best doll I've had in my life. So I will be going back <coughs> if I go somewhere where Alex dying if there is a Mowgli in the future because um, I know I noticed since there is a few of them around the country um, however I'll be ordering something different what Alex had was well it looked really good I didn't try the chicken but they looked really good but I did try his uh, like loaded fries which are actually potatoes but um, very very good so definitely recommend that restaurant it was in the shopping centre but on the roof terrace which just seem like a really nice place to go for a night out but yeah i think we're gonna find a pub now have a couple of drinks go back to the hotel and then yeah we've got a few hours to explore still in the morning tomorrow so we'll catch up with you all then Explored Oxford. We are about to go head into the Baudelaire libraries, but we're only going to the Divinity School, um, because which is the room which is featured in Harry Potter. And it was only two pound fifty to get tickets for those, so they did charge a booking fee. So I think in total for the two tickets, I paid like six pound in the end. But still, not too bad. You can view the whole libraries as well. All oh, my hair is. A mess ignore my hair and um, you can view um, like the libraries as well all of the libraries but then you have to pay for like a 90 minute guided tour and we haven't got very long in Oxford um, because we are going back today and I don't want to get back too late so yeah the plan is at the moment go to the libraries and then maybe if I can convince Alex to take a climb up a flight of stairs and we may um, climb to the top of um, the church tower here where you can see um, the Radcliffe camera and get a good view of the Radcliffe camera because I would like to take some pictures of that but we will see. So you may also recognise this building from the Harry Potter films as it was used in a few of the movies as well as some other movies as well so maybe you recognise it from somewhere else as well. Um, it was very beautiful but you don't need much time if you are just seeing that one room and then we headed to the Radcliffe camera because I feel like you cannot go to Oxford and not see the Radcliffe camera, right? And I made Alex get like a ton of pictures of me there for my Instagram because, you know, I had to. And then we got a quick drink and headed to the canals because I feel like we couldn't go to Oxford and not at least see the canals. I know it's popular for punting, but we did that in Cambridge, so we just decided to go for a walk instead. Hello everyone, so I am now back from Oxford and honestly I can see why people recommend Oxford as a day trip from London because obviously it is very easy to get to from London Paddington but as well as that um, it is just one of those places where you can easily just spend a day wandering around and taking in the views of the architecture, maybe popping into some shops, some cafes, like you can go there and not feel like, oh, I need to tick off X, Y, and Z before I go home. But at the same time, you can go and do more touristy things as well. Like, you can go into some of the colleges like we did. You can go to the Natural History Museum like we did. And there's some other museums as well that you can um, go into. You can go punting, which we didn't do because we did that in Cambridge. But, um, yeah, it's an option there. Also, we thought February wouldn't be the best time to go punting. But I don't know, maybe <laughs> some of you have gone punting in February and loved it um but yeah before i end this video i just want to quickly remind you that Anna Louisa do have a valentine's day sale on um so if you buy one you get 50% off 
Um, so make sure to check out Ana Luisa as well. I also have a discount code which I'll leave on the screen and in the description box down below with a link to Ana Luisa. Um, so make sure to go check them out and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and click that big red subscribe button down below and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Thank you.